What is up geeks and welcome to the Geek Man Cave and I just received a big old box in the mail. Yes, it's that time of month guys. Eagle Moss Marvel Movie Collections Review and guys it's a big one today. We haven't just got one, we haven't got two, we haven't even got three. We have four figures to review today guys. I cannot wait to get into these. We're going to be looking at issue 32. Doctor Strange, issue 33, Agent Carter. We're going to look at the second collector's figurine for the Iron Man collection, plus issue four of our specials, Thanos. Yes, the big bad guy from Infinity War. So let's, without further ado, let's get straight into these figures. I cannot wait, guys. Marvel Mania. What's up guys? So, like I said before, we have four fantastic figures from Eagle Moss's Marvel Movie Collection today. And I'm going to be starting off with issue 32. And guys, without a shadow of the doubt, this is the best figure this series has produced to date. The, likely, the likeliness, the likeness and detail on this figure alone is spectacular. That's the only word I can use to describe it. It is ridiculously good. The detail. Just look at the cape. Look at the folds in his cape. It's just ridiculous. The proportion is spot on. The likeness of Benedict Cumberbatch. It, I feel like Benedict Cumberbatch is in my room. That's the best way I can say it, guys. I love these spiritual discs that he's got. They are a very thin plastic, guys. I wouldn't want to touch them. We get in a bit closer. I don't know if you can see, but the detail on them get a bit closer is ridiculous. They've obviously printed straight on, and it just works so well. It just looks amazing. Absolutely, look at his face. I feel like I don't need to go to London Film and Comic Con now that he's appearing because he's right here in my room in the Geek Man Cave. Yes, guys, this is a 100% must-have for your collection. He is perfect. His pose, the paint job, the likeness, the scale, they have got this figure spot on. As you can see, he's got his, the cloak of levitation. Just look at it. I love the collar up high. I hope Vision's cloak is as good as this as well. To be honest, I was impressed by Thor's cloak as well. So I had good, um, good feeling when I knew they were doing Doctor Strange. I just can't get over it. I just can't get over how good it is. As you can see, you've got the eye of uh, Aragath. Uh, Ara oh my God, here we go. The eye of Ara. Ara oh my days. I've lost it completely. Agamotto? Agamata? Agamotto. The eye of Agamotto. Agam I, oh, I've lost it. I've completely lost it, guys. I'm just too excited. So yeah, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time on this guy. He's just perfect. I, that's all I can say. It looks like, to be honest, guys, the quality of this figure, it, it looks like you should be paying much more than what the price of this is. It is ridiculous. Absolutely. This figure is well, well, well worth $12.99. I, 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 I can't get over the quality. It is my favourite figure. Absolutely awesome. Well done, Eagle Moss. Right, let's have a little look at him next to someone, just to show you upscale. So we'll have a little look at... It's hard to scale him up to someone, because I wanted to give him someone that's on the film with him, but I haven't really got anyone here. Um, but we'll have a look at him with Captain America there anyway. So there we are. Oh, do you know what? The more figures like this I get, the more I'm excited for, for Infinity War, guys. I just cannot wait. What a time to be a geek. The one interesting thing, guys, to take from Doctor Strange's figure is I believe that it is the first figure to have a blank base. Can you see? It? There is nothing there. Nothing at all. Obviously, with the Guardians of the Galaxy, we have the Star Crest. With the Iron Man, it's the arc reactor. With Thor, it's uh, his hammer. 
and with the Avengers, it's the symbol of the Avengers. But there is nothing on it. And to be honest, I'm not complaining. It focuses much more on him. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Ego Man. So next up, guys, is issue 33. I do feel sorry for this issue because even if it was a phenomenal character, one of the big guys, uh, to follow that Doctor Strange figure is a hard one to do. But fair play to Agent Carter, she does it well. They've encapsulated that World War, um, the colouring, her pose. Um, I love the little high heels and her pistol. They've got her pose straight on. I think that's a very good likeness there of Hayley Atwood. Hayley Atwood? I think it's Hayley Atwood. Um, of Agent Carter. Love the detail on the badges here, on the buttons. Like you can see from the picture behind, they've caught that brilliantly. Um... Nice detail here. Nice one to add to the ladies as well. Let's just get, um, let me see. Let's get Agent Coulson to go side by side. I think that's a good one to do a comparison with. So here we have Agent Hill by Kobe Summers. And we've got wonderful Coulson. Do you know, I've only just noticed on Coulson the detail on his, sorry, I was away from the camera. The detail on his little name badge. I've only just noticed that. That is awesome. Look at that. I love it. Fab. Uh, you can see the scale, guys. These are really, really nice. I like that these these human characters, um, the non-supers, we should call them, um, the scale is really, really nice on them. Really, really nice. Um, they, you can see they go together quite nicely. Portions are nice. Sizing's nice. Pose. I like it. Maybe we put Doctor Strange in there as well. I just had another excuse just to show him off. See? Really, really nice. So, a solid figure again, Eagle Marsh. You are smashing it out today. Right, so what we're going to do now, guys, is move on to my special Iron Man collection. So, issue two of my special Iron Man extra premium figures is Heartbreaker. I love this figure, Mark 17. Uh, and again, they've done brilliant work on this figure, guys. Uh, all the Iron Man suits. I like the colouring on this one. I think I had um I was unsure about the um Civil War Iron Man suit and the colour they went for. They've gone for a much darker, deeper red in this one, much like the arm you can see behind. Uh and I think it, it works really well. It makes it look an expensive build. The detail on the paint is really nice. All these little bolts and screws and details, they just give it this really rustic kind of all the features of the suit, you can imagine all the mechanics going on. It's a really, really nice one. I love the boots. I love the fact he's got his fist closed. Look at that detail. Love it. Brilliant paint job as well. So yeah, another solid one. They are really, really stepping it up. Fair play, Eagle Moss. I am very happy customer. So, let's compare him with some of the other suits. So, here we are, all suited and booted. So, we've got Hulkbuster back, my two premium subscription suits there. I really like them. I don't know if it's because their suits are more bulky, more machine-like, but I just find the quality on them looks really, really, really good. We have my two war machines on either side. Well, war machine and I in Patriot. We have Tony Stark in his Avengers suit there, and we have the recent Civil War suit as well. Um, guys, on a side note, if you're a massive fan of this collection and you want up-to-date news, um, upcoming figures and um, comparisons with Lego figures, please check out my friend MMC Fan on um, Instagram. I'll leave a link to his page in this video. He is fantastic at updating on news on upcoming figures, photographs from different websites of figures, reviews. He is superb. If you want to stay up-to-date with this collection, please, please, please follow him. He is amazing. So, uh, he released some information recently saying that uh, he'd noticed that the Eagle Moss website has changed their details, saying that they, um, you for the collection, you have characters from all over the MCU, from the Avengers to Guardians to Spider-Man. So, I have recently contacted, well, this morning, contacted Eagle Moss, just asking for confirmation that, yes, Spider-Man Homecoming figures will come. It looks like that's the case, guys, from my friend on Instagram. Um, but one of the things I wanted to ask them as a massive Iron Man fan 
is obviously there is only, I think it's three more premium Iron Man suits that I'm entitled to, which should take me up to sometime middle next year, um, if we're looking at how much the figures go on. And obviously there's this rumours, obviously, that the collection will continue to go on as the MCU films um, come out. Obviously there's a lot of interest in this collection. A lot of people online are buying the figures. Sales must be good, so they'll keep pushing to get that extra money. Um, so I recently emailed them because I said if the collection is going on, can they please let me know or please take it as a fan service? Can you please continue to release the Iron Man suits from the Hall of Armors from Iron Man 3? It would be not only amazing to have all the MCU characters, but to have an entire display dedicated to the Iron Man suits would be a dream. I all oh, I love the Iron Man suits, every single one. I'm a massive Iron Man fan. So if they could do that, hopefully, guys, if I get any confirmation, I will be posting on my Twitter and Facebook page. Um, I also just a lot of people don't get these uh, the collectors. Well, you also get this little tiny cool little book, so you can see it shows you off some of the suits. Like I said, wouldn't it be amazing if I've all done like the suitcase suit as well? Would be an amazing one to have. Um, it'd be amazing. And next, guys, is Mark XXX1X. Is that 36, 35? 30, I'm not too sure. I think 35 or 36, if my uh, Roman numerals are correct. The spacesuit. Um, is the next one. Now, it looks like they are coming every 16 issues, guys. So I won't be getting this bad boy for a while, but um, he is looking pretty ace. Fantastic. Right, so there we have it. We have one final figure left, and I've left the best, well, the special for last. And last but not least, the Dark Ruler, the Cosmic Overlord, the big bad boss man, the final boss, Thanos, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is the big bad guy. I am very shocked that they release Thanos now. I thought, considering how long the, the collection's going to go on, Thanos would be one of those later issues. I did originally want him on his big throne chair. I thought that would be nice with the Infinity Gauntlet. We may get another issue, obviously, from release pictures of Infinity War. He's obviously in a different attire, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get another special um, with Gauntlet in place. I think that would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, again, guys, a very solid figure. Look at his pose. He is a menacing. I love, I love, I love the gold. They don't need to, to do too much with this guy. He's doing it all himself. I love the detail on the face. They've really encapsulated that menacing, evil, overpowering look. He is a beast. Um... Yes, another very, very good one. Uh, it's, I'm finding it hard now where to put them. Like, I want to put him with the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm hoping to have him with the, the um, Hulk as a centerpiece. Um, so let's have a little look at him, guys, uh, next to some of his other figures. So as you can see, as a special, he's not massive, I think, because we've had Hulkbuster and Hulk. Um, he's not humongous. But the way that they've posed him, the way that they've done his, how buff he is, obviously, to proportion him to size, I think it works very well. We haven't really seen Thanos standing next to someone in the movies. He's always been up on his chair, or he's just been him on his own. It's hard for us to tell if scale really works here. But looking at him with Star-Lord, it looks pretty menacing if this guy uh, is going to be fighting other people. Um... Yeah, I'd say he's about the same size as Groot. Um, but like I said, the pose they've gone with, I'm very happy with. Um, even if he isn't in his big chair. But like I said, I am pretty confident that we are going to get another Thanos. Maybe in battle Thanos. Um, as we've seen with a lot of people such as characters. Uh, to finish up, guys, let's have a family photo. Yay, family. Family photo. So there we have Nebula. And Gamora, there you go. Oh, family, family photo. Uh, yeah, so guys, I am really, really happy with this guy. I don't even know where I can put him on my collection. I may have to fiddle around with my Guardians of the Galaxy plane and stick him on there. So there we have it, my four new figures. And i got to say, hands down, the 
best month of Eagle Moss so far. Four figures, and to be honest, guys, they're all flawless. And I always worry about uh, being a subscriber to Eagle Moss. Nothing to do with Eagle Moss. But obviously, I like going to the shop um, and checking the paint job to see if there was any issues. Um, like my Captain America, I have to have a look, a look around for him because I do... Um, the paint wasn't as good on his shield. But guys, these four... And to be honest, everyone I've had since Captain America, um, the paint job has been flawless. I haven't had a problem with paint. Um, um, smudges or anything they are really taking their time and these four are brilliant sorry peggy being on the end but even in her own right in her own as her own figure they've done her justice she's fab and the others oh my days this collection just gets better and better each month i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you want to see anything if you want to see more on the geek man cave the marvel movie figurine collection and anything geek please subscribe to my channel here and if you want to check out some of my other reviews or my talk about the upcoming MCU Infinity War, check out my videos here. Thanks, guys. And remember, it's your cave, your rules.